Hey folks, Simon here. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a regular visitor, thanks for coming back. This week, I'm going to talk about my training because at the start of the year, I talked about how I'm training to do for charity a big ride next year in 2024, which is the whole original route of the 1926 Tour de France, which is right around France and then back through the middle. And I thought, well, do you know what? Maybe I should walk you through my training, what I'm doing now, and show you how I put it all together. The highs and lows, things that I do well, things that go wrong. So I'm going to start a series of vlogs about my training. So this is what this video is about. Might as well get straight into it. Now, not very excitingly, to start off with, on a Monday, I generally don't train because Monday is a great day to catch up with all the athletes and cyclists that I coach make sure they're on track, make sure they've done their training. So I get up early, around about 5.30, and for the first two hours, I'm looking at everybody's training. So one of the good things about having a coach is I keep you accountable. So they know, and all my cyclists know, that after the weekend, I'm going to be looking at what they've been doing and give them feedback. And for the most part, most of my guys, unless of course they've had an issue, are pretty on point with their training, which makes my life really easy. So a quick rundown of my training. On Tuesday, I generally do something tough. So right now I'm working in a VO2 block. So Tuesdays is VO2. Wednesday, I'll ride nice and steady, hopefully a fair distance, about two and a half hours if I can get it and the weather suits me. Um, and then I'll hit the gym in the evening. And then on Thursday, I'll go and ride steady again. And on Friday, I'll aim to do a harder session generally. Uh, hill reps to try and make sure that I'm strong and powerful going up hills. And then Saturday and Sunday are always long, steady rides. And with Sunday being another strength training session. So tomorrow I'm doing VO2. So let's talk about that and how I'm going to set up for it. So when I get up in the morning, everything's pretty much ready. The computer's ready to rock and roll. It's all powered up. The Turbo is attached to everything. I've got my water ready, got everything in the fridge cooling down. So yeah, I've even got a coffee, which is gonna be cold because sometimes I start it in the morning with a hot coffee and that just warms my inner core up, which I don't want to. I want to try and stay as cool as possible, especially as I'm doing VA2. But the trick for doing early morning turbos is to make sure that everything as much as possible is ready to set and go. Morning, it's about 26 now. So I've got up early. I've just put uh, some electrolytes in this one with some ice, and I've put in 30 grams of carbohydrate in, in this one with ice as well. So it just helps keep my core cool. And um, I've got my coffee. That's got beta alanine and creatine monohydrate in it. I just thought I'd take my supplements first thing in the morning so I never forget. Give me a little bit of a tingle going into a VO2 session. I am not an early morning person to work around at. <laughs> I just find it really hard. I'd much rather work out in the afternoon. Definitely get a better result doing that then. But I promised the guys I'd... Uh, do early mornings in a rotation every second week in the first part of January. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, best start warming up. So that's the warm up done. And now we're going to start the main set. So it's one minute on, one minute off times 10. You have a three minute rest in between and then you repeat. It's classic really, like one on, one off. Right, so a bit of a disaster. <laughs> After I did VO2 on Tuesday, which I thought went really well, finished it feeling strong and ready to move on to the next block in the VO2 training sessions, I um, had a shower and I slipped out of, slipped out of the shower unit and uh, pulled my hamstring on the right-hand side. And it's pretty sore. Um, so I'm not going to go to the gym on Wednesday. I'm gonna keep it really steady and ride the turbo on Wednesday for an hour and just see how the hamstring feels. And I might get out on Thursday for a, a steady ride. But what I don't want to do is charge the hamstring up too much by being overzealous with training right now. It's pointless to do that. That's how people injure themselves because they don't listen to their bodies enough. So I think what I'm do gonna do is not strength train this first part of the week, allow the hamstring to settle, keep the volume low, keep the intensity low, until I feel like the body feels like it's ready to do so. 
and uh, yeah, not ideal, but I can manage it. I don't think it's bad, but I think the best thing to do here is to take a bit of time to allow it to settle and not do too much injury to it. Annoying, but these things happen. So good news, the hamstring feels pretty good. Yesterday I jumped on the turbo and did an hour really steady just to make sure that it felt okay. And this morning when I woke up, no problems. If I'm really honest, I can feel it a little bit, so I won't do any strength training until Sunday, but I will focus on riding long Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I've managed to bully Dave. Best seen you. <laughs> to coming out with me and doing a local loop in between what could be biblical showers again today. That car that just came past us. If this camera had smell of vision, it absolutely stank of weed. Did you smell it? Yeah, it carried out. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> you got any cookies? <laughs> It finally stopped raining. So I'm catching up with my mate Calvin. I'm gonna go for about 40 and then I'll probably add a little bit more on. We get to catch up with him, haven't seen him since Christmas really. But good to hear what his news is. He's turned more into a runner this year than as a cyclist. So I'm not sure we're gonna carry on our friendship. <sighs> And this is quite cool. I sit in a coffee shop with Calvin. I was saying, I'm gonna add a bit more on to put a bit more volume in. And then Dave messages me and says, you go down the bike today? I was like, well mate, I am actually. I'm in the coffee shop, do you wanna come with me? So he shoves some kit on. And we're gonna do another 30, which should be great. Nice and steady, good chatty miles. Are we talking about socks again today, Dave? Yeah, I think we came to the conclusion, white socks, white shoes. Black socks, black, socks, black, black shoes. shoes. Unless you're a Cavendish, then you can do anyone. All right. <laughs> None of us are Cavendish, so we'll stick with that then. Good to see you. Francis Cade, fist bump. <laughs> That's been absolutely class to catch up with Calvin and Dave today. I'm hamstring feeling really good. So that means tomorrow I'm probably going to do a few hill reps and I'll hit the gym on Sunday. I'm back, hopefully, into the flow of training and this weather improves. So it's Saturday today and I haven't quite got the volume I wanted to get out this week. So I'm supposed to be doing hill reps three times, eight minutes, and then riding for about two hours. But what I've decided to do is do those hill reps for a slightly longer ride. So I like to call these rides non-specific hill reps in the fact that I will do my three times eight minute hard hill reps, but I'll put them in the ride. So I'm gonna get the intensity I want, but also add the volume that I want. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna ride steady in between. So, first hill rep coming up. Well, that was tough, but you always get the enjoyment of a descent at the end of that. Second set of hill reps done. I didn't record it because I was breathing out my ass. <laughs> this third hill rep is going to be quite tough. It's actually up quite a steep hill, 
and I'm kind of hoping I don't get wet. Fortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case. <laughs> I'm taking the tar control back because they've recently re tarmacked this bit uh, and it's super chill in the fact that I don't have to fight with traffic. We're all trying to get to Tesco's and Asda on a Saturday lunchtime. All I need to combat are people and their dogs. <laughs> you can't win as a cyclist. Decided to forego the coffee shop because they absolutely binned it down with rain and there's nothing worse than sitting in a coffee shop soaking wet, getting cold. I don't need that this time of year. Anyway, back home and lunch, I think. hamstring feels really good so i went to the gym in the afternoon and did a squat session i didn't go maximal because again i'm just being mindful that i don't want to charge the hamstring too much i'm pretty confident that it's okay but making sure that i'm not going to injure myself further i think next week i can really start pushing on again with my training Riley, back in the office now on Sunday, I roll out with the guys. It's always really good to go and catch up with them. It's always a bit of banter and we got absolutely soaked, which is kind of classic for this time of year. Mm -hmm. So look, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe if you've enjoyed watching this. If you've got any questions about training, stick them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help you guys out. And if you're a regular visitor to this channel, you'll have noticed that a few color changes have happened since I started filming this. I've got the new kit from BioRacer for Velo Performance. The 2023 kit is out. I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.